Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that it has been a really long time since I have posted a video, so I wanted to hop on here really quick and just give a little bit of a life and channel update. I have my Kleenex in hand because I'm probably not gonna be able to get through this video without shedding at least a few tears, so let's get right into it. So when I first started this channel, I really was looking for a platform that I could share my keto and paleo recipes and share healthy lifestyle tips, especially for those living with chronic medical conditions like myself. I had no idea what I was doing, what I was getting myself into. All I knew was that I was really enjoying um, creating content and having a creative outlet. I learned a ton in the process, but one of the greatest things that I got as a result of this channel was I was given so many incredible opportunities. One of those opportunities landed me a dream job uh, working for a company in the health and fitness space. I do recipe development and product photography and food styling for um, this company. They are my main source of income and I am extremely, extremely grateful. That's part of the reason why the content on this channel kind of had to take a back seat was because I was so busy with work um, and concentrating on that. The other reason why I have not been creating videos for this channel uh, is because last year I was also diagnosed with systemic lupus. So it took me and my family, it took me and my family a fairly long time to kind of come to terms with what that meant, what the future holds. Um, for anybody that's not familiar with lupus, with systemic lupus, is it's a autoimmune disease that basically can attack any and all of your organs. We were confronted with a lot of, you know, kind of implications and what the future was gonna look like for us. Also navigating through this diagnosis, finding a new normal again, working through doctor's appointments and new symptoms popping up and having to start treatment. So now that we've kind of come to terms with this and found somewhat of a new normal, I feel like now I am in a place where I just want a little bit more. Working the job that I have and feeling super thankful for it, uh, yes, I am allowed creativity doing that work, but it's not necessarily an outlet for myself. I want to get back to being creative for myself. So my husband and I have decided that we're gonna start this new little business venture. I'm gonna get back to creating content and just really creating this life that nurtures myself, uh, nurtures my soul, nurtures my family. This is really something that both him and I can do together. So the content on this channel is gonna be changing a little bit. Um, I may share recipes you know, here and there, but for the most part, it's really gonna be dedicated to DIY and home improvement and woodworking and small projects and arts and crafts um, and kind of everything in between. I also wanna be able to share this new small business journey with you. I wanna be able to help others um, kind of avoid the pitfalls that we go through and hopefully show the growth that we have. But for the most part, I wanna just enjoy our lives and I wanna enjoy our lives together doing things that both of us love. We are given one shot. Like you have one life and tomorrow is not guaranteed. You have no idea what the future holds. So I could very easily, very easily sit back and feel sorry for myself and wonder why and why me? Why does my family have to see me go through this? Or you could turn around and you could make the changes that you want do more things that make you happy. To a certain extent, you know, be a little bit more selfish. And I feel like I'm at a point in my life that I wanna do that. 
and for me it's gonna be a creative outlet I, I'm really thankful that we are in a place that we can do that. We are really hoping to focus on a variety of tutorials and our own personal step-by-step -step process in creating our handmade items. I really want to inspire people, especially women, to dive into DIY projects around the house, using power tools, learning new skills, and of course, encouraging some creativity in their lives. Hopefully some light bulbs will go off and you'll gain the courage to start a little business of your very own. So here are some of the tutorials and projects that we have planned so far. We are hoping to do a variety of wood signs and projects in all shapes and sizes. We also plan on sharing a lot of fun and easy projects to make like custom tumblers and home decor to make and sell with a Cricut maker. And of course, we're gonna be sharing any and all of our own home improvement projects we take on, like saving over $12,000 by painting the house by ourselves. And here's a little sneak peek of the next couple of videos that we have planned. It's gonna be a two-part complete garage makeover. Because we have decided to jump Head first into this new passion project of ours and start a new business, we decided that we were gonna completely gut the garage. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna organize it, and we're gonna turn it into a dedicated workshop for the business. We are gonna go over everything that we did step by step for this makeover. That includes where and how we got rid of items, tips and tricks on what we learned laying our own epoxy floors, what storage options we went with, how we hung new overhead racks, and everything we did to organize our new space. This is definitely gonna be an extreme garage makeover and we cannot wait to share it all with you. So we really hope that you come along for this new journey of ours, this next phase of our lives. If you are new here and you're just watching this video and you haven't subscribed but you are interested in um, all things DIY and how to build and run a small business, then make sure that you subscribe now. And we hope to see you back here really soon.